Hi guys, it's Gemma from The Crafty Little Gem and thank you for joining me today. Now, today's project is um, a requested um, tutorial um, and I did say I was going to make it anyway but I just thought I'd best get my bum into gear and get it, um, get it ready for you and we'll get it made. So this one, I haven't got any of the flowers out or anything or any of the greenery out. Um, so because I don't actually know what I'm going to use, but we're going to basically going to do the basic pot and um, everything like that. Now, these pots are from Lakeland. They are the pots that you can bake cakes in. And I haven't decorated the top of these um, because obviously for Easter, I am going to pop some cakes in them and I am going to actually present them in a little greenhouse um, to one of my friends. So, but my daughter is going to help me bake some cakes to put in there. But again, just save the circles. You can decorate them up and then you can put little trinkets in for um, someone who likes to garden and, and whatever. Just a nice little project, I think. So we will get on and we will make this today. I'm hoping you can see all right because one of my lamp, one of my bulbs is still out. But I will bring everything in. And what we will need is... First of all, I've got a piece of 12 by 12. Now, I'm doing mine in pattern. The one that I originally did, it was all in pattern paper. But um, this one, I've got the patterned base around the outside, which is 12 by 12. I've then got the insert, which is going to hold the um, plant pots. And that is 8 and 7 eighths by 8 and 7 eighths. I've then got some acetate and I hope this isn't going to shine too much but it is just the full length the 11 and 3 quarters length of acetate and it is cut at 5 and 7 eighths it is just under the 6 inch mark because the whole box on the inside is 6 and we want it to sit nice and flush on the inside um, I have got some decoration for the lid again I have just these are 12 by this was cut off um, what I'd cut off the grey 12 by 12 because I'd obviously cut it down and I have just cut three, four, sorry at a quarter of an inch and I've kept it the full length because I can just chop it off at the ends to however long I need but I have got a handle and this is a quarter of an inch and it is by seven and there is a few things that we're going to score on this to actually just make it a nice little handle on that one. So that one you do need to have it seven by a quarter of an inch. So what we will do is on the 12 by 12 pattern piece, again, you can use any, you can use all plain. It is entirely up to you. And on the 12 by 12 on all four sides, I'm going to score at one and at three turn one and at three turn one and three turn and one and three so you've done one inch and three inches on all four sides so bringing in the eight and seven eighths I've got all my, I'll leave that there actually because that is all of the measurements. If you want to take a screenshot or whatever, I'll try and leave that there so it's always there for you to see. But this is eight and seven eighths by eight and seven eighths. And on all four sides, we're going to score at one and a half inches. So even though the sides on the pattern pieces are going to be two inches, you're going to have a nice little lip. I don't know whether you can see with all the flowers. You've got a nice little lip there just to hold that base in. Just keep going one and a half on all four sides. We'll just bring your little handle in, which is a quarter of an inch by seven. And on this, where am I on this for the handle? This is the handle bit here. And we are scoring at two and five. So you're scoring at two and five and that is it 
this you're then just going to curl round to make a nice little handle doesn't matter about these side bits because they're going to be folded over and they are going to glue together like that and that is going to create your handle that is just going to stick on top okay so we'll get the scoreboard out of the way and we can start putting bits together now you will also need a circle die this will go through um a normal die cutting machine even though the papers are bigger because you're not going to see the sides so you can just fold them in on top which i'll show you how to do it before next time and oh, i'll show you how to do that anyway but all i did is i put it round this is how i just gauged how big i needed my circles to be on the inside and that actually fit I'll also show, so mine is actually two and a half inches round. So what I am going to do is I'm just going to score and burnish on all the lines. And again, it is a reinforced box. And it, this is for the reason, because you've got two different coloured papers. I didn't want you seeing another colour on the inside, because obviously on this one it's grey and on this one it's peach. And I didn't, and obviously that's quite a big contrast. So just folding and burnishing on all these score lines. Like so. And depending on how you cut your paper, that's entirely up to you. But it's basically just a reinforced box. So what I am doing is I am just cutting up these sides here. I know there's some people that like to rotate it and everything like that. That's up to you. You do what is best for you. And then I am just cutting that there like that. I'm going to do exactly the same on this side and then I'm just going to bring it round this way and I am going to do exactly the same done that already I've done that already I don't know whether I've done that I've just done that again if I haven't and we'll get all that out the way so I'm still there we go so then all we're going to do is create that reinforced box and take that over fold them sides in and then this inside is just covered so I am using my glue today and I'm using the Cosmic Shimmer and I found out that this is um, a really good glue actually. I think I'm going to stick with this one. And for the gold and silver card and everything that I was using before, I think I'm just going to have to stick to double-sided tape or a tape runner or something like that just to stop getting the glue marks. Because I think it, that I think that's just glue. To be honest with you, I think it's happened to everybody as well. So I will be sticking to double-sided red tape. So just popping that back in there, and then I'm just going to go across these sides. And pop that down now it's a long time since i actually made this box 
and I couldn't believe I actually found the original instructions that I had done to go with it as well. You can fold those out if you need to. And this one. Again, you don't have to use the plant pots that obviously I'm using. You can use normal plant pots. I know you can buy the small ones, but again, just make sure you um, measure the size of your circle before you do anything. So that is basically the outside of the box done. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring in this one now as well. And what I'm going to do is, I don't know whether you can see the cross on there. I scored it, but if you um, actually draw the lines, I will get my ruler and I will show you. Because this is how, you don't have to do this if you're quite good with doing it by eye, but I am not. And all I have done is I have come in, let's do it on that side because I can see that side better. Two. I would say it is two and 15 sixteenths of an inch. I don't know whether you can see, there is where my score line is. Okay. And that is two, let me bring that over here, two and 15 sixteenths. And you're doing it on one side and drawing a line and then you're doing it on that side and drawing a line. And then you should get your four squares equal of where you're gonna put your plant pots. So we're just going to fold and burnish on the outside score lines that we've done. And again, if you do it with a pencil and you do it on the underneath, you're not going to see it. So you don't need to rub it out. And just make a box as you normally would. I am doing this. as so okay so you've got that then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to die cut each circle I'm going to aim for the middle of each of my ins inside the squares and I'm going to die cut a circle now to put it through a smaller machine a normal machine all you need to do is bend them over when you've done it and then do that one bend it over tape it in place if you need to put it through the die cut machine you are not going to see any of these sides so it really doesn't matter I'm going to get mine cut and then I'll be back so hi guys, I'm back. I have die cut my holes out of there. And what I actually meant to say to you is if you actually hold one of the sides up like that, then actually you can put your circle die up, circle die on the bottom of your pot, move it to there, and then you can actually check that that is going to be the height. Put your circle pot on there. <laughs> and then you can actually bring that up and check that that's going to be the height that you that's going to be able to go in, which mine is. I have got a little bit of room around the outside, but that doesn't bother me. They'll be easy to get in and out. So... I obviously I've die cut all of my holes. I'm just going to glue this together like so. I did catch a bit of the end on my machine, but again, like I said, you're not going to see it, so I'm not that bothered.
you could also obviously do um, frames to go round these if you wanted to. Like so. So then that should fit snugly. She says. into the bottom of that box there so what you can do is you can glue two ends in if you wanted to and then you actually have this going round like that so again I'm just going to take this out and it needs to be snug because you obviously you don't want any of this falling out if if it does go on its side. So what I am going to do is, first of all, I am sure that I put double-sided tape on that. Right, so I'm going to bring in my acetate, put those to one side. I'm going to bring in my acetate. I'm going to bring in my a quarter of an inch things. Now I have got some really thin double-sided tape. You can use glue. I'm sure I used glue on that one that I've got there. Um, but I'm going to use tape this time because I do need, I have got quite a bit of tape that I want to use up. So we'll just get this on. So that's one side done. and we've got one for the middle okay so just burnish that one down And then what I'm going to do is I am just going to grab my picky tool and I'm going to take that end off. And I'm just going to lay it down on my acetate there. And then I can just line it up. I'm trying not to get my I hope I'm not getting my head in. I'm just going to line it up all the way to the end, like so. And I have got an overhang, but again, just snip it straight off. So again, just get one of your quarter inch pieces. And I don't take it all off. I'm going to try and do this one a little bit more on camera. I'm going to line up down that side. And again, I've just got a little bit there. So turn it over, snip it off. No one's going to see this underside. So don't worry about that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring in my 
scoreboard and we're going to put one down the middle. So I'm just going to move it away from that edge and aim it for the middle. So it's just literally just before the six inch mark there. It's in the middle of that bit and it's in the middle of that bit because we are just slightly shorter. And then, I'm really hoping that this isn't glaring, guys. I'm really sorry if it is. But this is the only way I knew how to do it. So what you're going to do is butt it up there. And because it's a quarter of an inch, aim. For in the middle there. And then because you've got your score line. You can use that to get your straight line. And then just snip off that end. Now I'm sure I should have had another bit, which I probably will just quickly snip. Again, I'm just doing a quarter of an inch. I haven't measured it. Measured it. That's a bit. Doing that a bit quick, I think. That's better. And then all I'm going to do is move that to eleven and seven eighths. And again, in the middle, at five and seven eighths and six. And one eighth, I am just going to glue that down across there. That will also give us a marker of where we can put our handle. So I know that I don't need all of that, so I'm going to snip that bit off. And just put some red tape on that bit there. Take that off again, put that right up, and I'm doing it to set 11 and 7 eighths, and I'm just at that 1 eighth of an inch, and I'm doing it at 5 and 7 eighths and 6 and 1 eighth. That's where I need that to be. And that, that needs, that's where that needs to be. So then all you can do is snip that bit off and that is the top nearly finished because then what you need to have is your other what uh, a quarter of a bit quarter of an inch by seven and as I said we've domed this top now we're just going to glue those underneath each other like so so I'm going to bring in the liquid glue And I'm going to pop that underneath. And then all I did is, because I am gluing it onto other card, and it, I just eyeballed this, and it, I just aimed for the middle, and that is your little handle. and make sure that's glued down really well. Okay. So I've got some more red line tape here. And I'm actually going to glue it to the bottom of the opposite side. literally right at the bottom and then this is going to glue to the side of here at the top 
and that is what has made it bigger and being able to get the the actual cups out so what i'm going to do oh if i can take that off and take that off pick a side and aim for the top and I've just glued that on there curve it over and glue that on there like so so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put glue on the bottom of these sides and on these sides because you want it to stick to the sides so it doesn't fall out you might just have to push these sides in to get them in and you fold some bits around once it's in that is what you will have and then because you've got the holes you can also just press on this side and you can get in that side as well to make sure the glue is sticking press on the sides of the box I'm going to take these ones out and they should fit in like so so that is your basic greenhouse and um, also like I said before don't throw these away these are what you cut out of before and they will quite happily sit in the top and what I did is where's my black ribbon I just cut some pieces of ribbon. I cut another four of these out in another paper. Um, on this one, I did two holes because the ribbon was quite thick. But I think on this one, I'm going to my hole that was it because my hole punch doesn't go right into the center so if you've got one of the white ones which i have but it's actually put away just grab a mat and this and a pokey tool and just put a hole in the middle you can then just poke that back through get some bits of sticky tape I'll do another one for you because I've just realised that I don't really think I was in shot on that one Peel the back off that one and glue it down. Peel the back off this one. Pull as much as you want through and glue that down. And then all I did is glue the other one that I cut onto the bottom to cover that up. And that is your lid. So again, I'll just do it so you can see in the middle create a hole, cut a bit of your ribbon, I'm going to put the double sided tape on first this time, on these sides, have it this way, 
poke your ribbon through. Pop that side down. Pop that side down and glue your spare one to the top. So like I said, I did cut four more of these on my other one and that is your little handle for the top of there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some flowers and bits together. You will need a hot glue gun to put these on, is what I found out on my other project. And we will decorate it all up together. So hi guys, I'm back. And as you can tell, my desk is quite messy. We are going to decorate up the um, mini greenhouse. Okay, so I've got my hot glue gun that's been on charged. I've cut some greenery out and bits here. Um, in my stash, I've got had some flowers. I'm using them up. I had some butterflies that I'd already cut out. I might place a few here and there. So for me, this is all about using up um, all the different types of flowers and things that I have in my stash. One thing I always am asked, though, is how do we get these little things here? Most people cut them off because they are the stem. And I'm just going to quickly show you. That's the stem of the flower. If you can see that. I have a lollipop stick. And all I'm going to do is wrap it around the lolly stick. Doesn't have to be in any shape or any form. Then just pull it out and it just creates that. And then you can actually hot glue, hot glue that down as it is onto a project without having to cut anything off some of them i will cut off because i don't want loads on there but um, i've made a start of some bits that i'm going to put on and what i am and what i'm not going to do i think i'm going to change my mind on that and i am going to just wrap that round that stem around there and then i can actually hot glue hot glue that to the bottom there so this is just decorating it up you don't have to watch this bit if it's i know everyone's taste is different i am like i said i am using just everything that i've got in my stash um the color of the flowers and everything don't really bother me because it is a greenhouse it'll have loads of little bits in and you'll have to bear with me because I'm not very good with glue guns. I seem to get bits everywhere. So, like I said, I've cut some leaves. I'm not gluing loads of it down because I do want to have let it have some movement. And I want the flowers to sort of like be here, there and everywhere. And I am, I do keep looking at the one I have made here. And all I've done is concentrate on one side and taken it up and over. And I haven't really done anything on the other side at all, except for probably for that little bit of greenery coming down. So that's what I'm going to do. I've got all different colours and things here. I'm hoping my glue gun will last because it hasn't had very long charging up just get some greenery down first if you can and then you can build your flowers up over the top Not quite solid, so I'm just going to bring my bone folder in and give some movement. I d it, there's no rhyme or reason to be doing this. Well, there is obviously to give it to movement, but then all I just nip, do is nip off the bits that I don't want and then just pop that in somewhere. I know there's going to be flowers going over the top of that, so that don't bother me, but that one's quite straight there. Can you see? Um, I 
I've got quite a bright one of those. So I'm going to overpower it a little bit. So I'm going to come in. Again, this is just sort of like as you think you would have it, your taste. Again, I'm just coming in with my bone folder and just literally adding glue just down that stem. I'm not putting it on any of the leaves and I want that underneath there to come down that way. Um, what other bits have I got? I've got some little tiny leaves here, so they will be good. Again, just on the bottom bit there. And then we can go in with some flowers. Like, so these are some of the flowers that I used on the other one. So again, I'm just going to be using these up. Using the bigger flowers first um, again and I'm just putting them as and where I want them on this I don't really do I do do a lot of um, decorating up I don't normally do like this sort, this much, let's say. Right. Pop that down there, then you can twist that bit up to come out as and where you want it. I've got another one here. See, I'm not really bothered where I'm putting them. So I know that they'll all go anyway. Again, I've got a nice pink one there. I want to keep the stem on this one because it's nice and soft. So I can actually manipulate it a little bit more than the others. And I'm going to have that one just tucked in underneath there. So I think that'll come in along quite nicely at the moment. Um, again, I've got this one. I quite like the stem on that, so I'm going to keep that one. Be careful not to burn yourself on some of them. And just start tucking the little ones in. So I'm just going to grab a couple of these. Now these stems I am going to cut off. I don't want too much bulk and again these flowers are quite small so be careful with your glue gun have two and if you make a mistake it's really quite easy just to put another flower over the top and cover it up I'm going to have a couple more of these. Some of them are probably flowers I probably won't use that I've got out. But that's absolutely fine. I didn't know what I was going to be using. So it's nice just to have like a little variety. And then you can just go with like the colours and bits that you want to go with. like so do I want some of this in yeah I'm gonna have a bit there and again just on the tip because I'm gonna try my hardest not to get it anywhere else but just get that kind of like in there
and see if I can do another one somewhere. So again, I'm just keeping the glue to the tip of the flower and then it'll get, then you'll have some nice movements. Yeah, I'm going to have that one there. And I do pl play by the rule of three flowers. Odd numbers, I should say. The odd number of flowers. So, like that purple one, I'm just going to get rid of all these because they'll go everywhere otherwise. So, like those purple flowers I've done, I've done three. But obviously, the orange ones, that don't bother me. That's all I've got left of those other ones. So, now they've gone, that don't bother me. And I might actually put that one somewhere to get rid of that. And then that's my last one of those gone as well i might put that that side actually and i am gonna wire that one my glue gun's turned itself off because i haven't used it um have that one just on that side there And yeah. And I'm just going to pop that one in there. And I think that's all I'm going to do on that. If anything, I'll add a little bit more to there. Um, but that's it. You don't really want to take too much away from the actual box that you've made. Again, I'll just pop these pots in. The lids, again, can just go on top if you're going to put little trinket bits in um, and stuff. But I hope you like that one. But like I said, we are going to bake some cakes um, and they are going to have a little bit of grass and bits on top in the green food colouring, obviously. Um, and we're going to be giving some of these out for Easter. So I hope you like that, guys. And I will finish decorating up and I will see you for the next project. Thanks for joining me today. Bye.